This first example is sort of a precursor to the midpoint formula. We're just going to find the midpoint of these two locations on the coordinate plane. Our first point is negative 7, negative 2, so this is point A, and that's right here. Oops, I don't know why I can draw on that. Let's try that again. How about right there? There we go. And then this other one is point B, 3, negative 8, and it's down over here. And what we're doing is trying to find the point that's right in the middle of the two of them if we were to draw a straight line across. And the trick to doing it, we could actually use the Pythagorean theorem um, and find the actual distance by calculating x, or the short side here, a, and the medium side, b, and then using Pythagorean theorem to find c, and dividing it in half, and then only going halfway down. But it would be a lot easier here just to recognize that halfway between this point and this point is just halfway down and halfway over. And finding halfway down and halfway over is a lot easier. All we have to do is decide what the difference between our vertical points is and the difference between our horizontal points is and only go half that way. So looking at this one, we'll take a look at first the vertical difference. We have our negative 2, which is one of our y-coordinates, and negative 8, which is the other y-coordinate. So we're going from negative 8 to negative 2. Well, that's a difference of six steps. So that's the same, of course, as negative 8 minus negative 2, which would be 6. Well, negative 6, we're going down 6 steps. Um, so half of that, if we're looking for half of that, times 1 half, we'd go down 3 steps. Looking for the left to right difference, we have, we're have we going from negative 7 to 3. So here we have 7 points to 0 and 3 more. So that's a difference of 10. Half of that would be 5. So what we really need to do is go down 3 or up 3 and then over 5. So if we're starting here and we want to go halfway, we'll go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and back 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that gets us to the midpoint. If we start with this point, we'll go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in the other direction. And that also gets us to the midpoint. So as long as we know sort of the difference between the two points and we just go halfway, finding the midpoint is pretty easy.